Okay, so I play a bunch of Destiny, and I've noticed there's a ton of videos on YouTube that have like frame rate optimizations or the best NVIDIA settings and all that sort of stuff. But a lot of them are missing some key things that can really boost your performance in Destiny 2 on PC. So I figured let's do a video. I'll do all the settings for NVIDIA, um, some of the stuff that makes sense for Intel as well. So it's primarily going to be a, a video for if you've got an NVIDIA GPU and an Intel processor. Um, I think most of this stuff will apply for AMD processors as well, but definitely if you've got an AMD graphics card, I'm not going to be walking through those sort of optimizations. So with all that said, let's dig in. So the first place we're going to start is the NVIDIA control panel. Now you can access that right click on the desktop or it might be in your system tray and you can right click there and get to NVIDIA control panel. Either way, we open that up and this is going to be your sort of first portal of like what to change. You could pretty much ignore all of the settings um, on the left hand side and focus on manage 3D settings. A lot of guys will tell you to disable G-Sync. I personally do disable it because I just prefer, I mean, I'm running on a 240 hertz monitor, so I just prefer not having that slight bit of input latency that G-Sync does occasionally give you. Um, but it's up to you. Um, do whatever feels best there, um, I would say. Um, in terms of like scaling, setting up your multiple displays, all that sort of stuff doesn't really make a big deal for Destiny. So I'm going to only sort of keep us focused on the parts that really matter. And that is manage 3D settings. So we're going to manage 3D settings. Um, you can ignore the global settings because you kind of want to keep those across games. Um, you, you might want to tweak them on a per game basis. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into program settings and then find Destiny 2 in the list here. So you can just drop this drop down menu and then just type D and it'll probably be the first entry. Now we're going to go in and configure these individually. Um, and, and I'll sort of talk about what some of them do and what some of them don't as well. So image sharpening, I keep this off. You don't really need to sharpen your image um, in Destiny. It's pretty pretty soft and it's pretty it's pretty good um, as it goes anyway. So just ignore that one. Don't worry about it. Uh, anisotropic filtering. Now I keep the um, global application controlled um, setting here because what I'm going to show you in Destiny itself is we'll control of that in there anyway. So you can turn that off. You can keep it on. You can keep it on global. I keep FXAA totally off here. Um, you don't need that on, um, especially if you're going for like frame rates and you're trying to be competitive in PvP on Destiny. Um, I'd say the guide that I'm doing here is related primarily to that. So um, gamma correction, we can keep that on. Um, don't need to turn that off really. Anti-aliasing mode, um, we'll also keep that as the application controlled because again, Destiny is going to control that for us. Um, Anti-aliasing transparency, we're going to turn that off um, just so you don't get any hits to any of the, the textures and stuff. Um, and then background application max frame rate, we'll turn that off as well. CUDA, you want to select all on that. So you'll tick the graphics card that you have there. Low latency mode. Now this one, um, this one is where it gets a little bit more complicated. Now I keep it on ultra. Some people may just turn it on or, or keep it totally off, um, depending on basically whether you really feel like it's giving you a little bit better input latency that'll be one you might want to experiment with um but i keep it on ultra myself so um max frame rate you can keep that off as well fixed frame rate i would just keep that on the fixed refresh um it, i wouldn't use g-sync personally but you can if you're not quite getting the frame rates and you're getting some tearing and stuff it's really up to you um multi-framed i keep that as the global setting which is off then open GL rendering GPU. I just set that to uh, for the 3090, which is my graphics card. Um, now this one does actually make a difference. Ma power management mode. I keep this at maximum performance. Um, you can keep it on normal, and the Nvidia driver will like sort of balance the power um, on the on the game and like how much it's drawing. But I mean, I just want maximum performance all the time. I want maximum frames, so I've kept that there. It may hit some energy savings you might have um, but I'm keeping a max performance there um, preferred refresh rate I keep that highest available um, rather than application controlled shader cache I keep this on um, if you have been having some weird stuttering you might want to just quickly turn it off launch the game close the game come back in here and turn it back on that does help some issues with frame rates on destiny 2 um, texture filtering we're going to keep that off uh, texture filtering, uh, the second texture filtering, we're going to keep that uh, to allow to so the global setting. And then in terms of texture filtering, we want this on high performance. That's going to give us the best performance um, for for Destiny 2, uh, best frame rates. So we're going to keep that there. Uh, texture filtering, we're going to keep this trilinear optimization to on. 
threaded optimization we're going to keep that just automatic uh, triple buffering we're going to keep that off and vertical sync we're definitely going to keep that off um, there might be some cases you want to use v-sync um, but i think for most people you don't really want that on so that is basically all the primary settings i would set personally in, in the nvidia control panel now the other thing you can do is under power and sleep settings so if you go to start and then type in power and sleep this will bring up the main sort of windows 10 control panel and over on the right here you'll see additional power settings now if you click here it brings up the sort of old school way of switching power plans what you want to do is select high performance and then you want to just make sure if you go into change plan settings on the right here and then we'll go into change advanced power settings and we will go down to processor power management and just make sure that the minimum state is 100 and the maximum is 100 so you're just keeping that cpu going at all times obviously the cpu is going to throttle itself and not use it at maximum all the time anyway this just helps that the power policy doesn't try and do that itself um okay so that is pretty much everything i would say before you launch destiny 2. now there's one more thing that i would recommend doing in terms of before you start configuring your uh, video settings in destiny 2 and that is to go to this um, section in file explorer now i will paste this in the uh, section below so you can just copy and paste it in all you will need to do is change your username here to whatever your username is actually I'll, what i'll do is, is i'll paste it in so it's like this so anyone can use it so you can just copy and paste that and what it will do is it'll open up this file explorer here and you'll see two folders in here uh, two files sorry in here it's a cvars old and a cvars.xml or it might just be called cvars if you don't have the extensions on what you want to do is you want to double click on it and then open it with notepad or you can just right click open with notepad and this will bring it up in sort of like an editor, a text editor for Windows. And what you're going to do is don't worry about any of these settings. What you want to search for is low underscore latency. And you can see that's on the screen here. So this is the toggle that we're going to change. Now, this is basically toggling NVIDIA's reflex technology on and off. Now, that is supposed to lower the input latency in games. I and many others have had issues with this on Destiny. I personally play with it to zero. Um, you, the default is one, so you'll probably see one in here. And what you want to do is just delete, go to zero, and then you're just going to go file, save, and you're going to close this off. Now, um, you, you can set it to two, which actually decreases your frame rate, but it's supposed to help with input latency. I personally find zero is the best option. You might, you can, I would play around with zero and one, see what feels best, um, but that's the way I play. Now, one other thing, and this is a really key thing that most people in, Dest in, in the Destiny community don't even really know about, and that is that there's actually launch options for Destiny 2. So you can right click in your Steam library, go to properties, under here you'll see launch options. And what you wanna do is you wanna paste this in. So this is use all available cores. So bas this basically tells the Destiny client that it can use all CPU cores on your machine by default through Steam. Now that will instantly on many systems, especially if you've got a six core, eight core, 10 core processor, it will instantly make the game feel a lot more smoother and less input lag. Um, I don't think many people change this. I would highly recommend changing it. If you do have any issues after changing it, then obviously take it off. Um, it may use, it's obviously gonna sort of hit your CPU a little bit more. Um, so if you, you know, start overheating or anything like that, if you haven't got adequate heating, it could cause cool some issues, but I would definitely recommend setting that because it will definitely boost your frame rates in pretty much all the machines and friends that I've had set it. It's worked well. So do that. Uh, I will paste that in the section below so that you guys can copy that as well. And then finally, last but not least, is actually controlling the video settings in Destiny itself. So um, I've gone into the video menu here. It's, it's available under settings. Um, you want to keep it at full screen. Um, if you have it windowed or any of that sort of stuff, you're not going to be getting the highest frame rates. Full screen will just ensure that your GPU is dedicated to, to this um, particular game. Um, resolution, I would keep it native to wherever your monitor is. Um, so if that's 1080p, keep it at 1080p. VSync, you definitely want to turn that off. Um, frame rate cap, I personally cap at 220. Um, I'm playing on a 240 hertz monitor. And to be honest, Destiny doesn't really go that much higher than that. And it kind of my C, my my gpu just spins up pretty loudly if i keep it uncapped but for most people you probably want to turn it off um to be honest but play around with whatever feels best for you i think 
um, uncapped will give you will just keep the frame rates at the highest they will be um, which helps with input latency on destiny but it also helps with like landing your shots as well so um field of view i personally play at 105 obviously a lot of people will play under that um this will affect the performance it's entirely up to you i would personally play at 105 if i was you but it's really up to you um in terms of the video settings and this is kind of the important stuff just turn anti-aliasing off screen sp screen space off texture off um, the only thing that really matters in this menu, if I'm honest, to like how Destiny looks in terms of when you're playing PvP, is texture quality. Now, I personally keep that on high. You can probably keep it high or highest. I think anything other than that, it starts to look a little bit rough, the game. Um, and then shadow quality, I keep at low. Depth of field, I keep off. Environmental detail distance, I keep low. Character detail distance, low. Foliage detail distance, low. Shadow distance medium, again that's the lowest setting available, she can't go any higher than medium here. Um, and then light shafts medium, motion blur, I turn that off, I don't want motion blur, I don't think anyone should have it on. Wind impulse off, um, and then we get to render resolution. Now you might find you could squeeze a few frames out if you go down to like 95% or maybe 90%. It really depends on what resolution you're playing at and just uh, whether you can deal with it being a little bit softer. Because um, it will be the the more you sort of crank this down, it's just, it's effectively lowering the resolution of the game. Um, so you can play at ninety five. I I personally just play at hundred because I'm playing at fourteen forty p. And I think anything if I get into the sub nineties, it starts to really look closer to ten eighty p. And it looks a bit rough um, on my particular monitor. But that's pretty much that slider there. Now HDR, um, you can play with it on if you want. I disable it personally. So, um, and then chromatic, uh, I would disable that as well. And film grain, I don't think either of those you really. They're just kind of distracting when you're playing PvP, to be honest. So, um, and I think that is pretty much it for the video settings in Destiny 2. Um, if you guys have any other recommendations for Destiny PC settings, I'm happy to update this video. If I've got if i've not if i've missed something or i've got something wildly wrong but this i play you see i'm locked at 220 at the moment frame rate i can take that lock off and you'll see that i'm getting sort of close to close to 400 in the menu and i i, I can load into like a private pvp match let's go into let's try jav4 the classic classic map of destiny 2 pvp We'll do what we'll do is I'll run around and show you the sort of frame rates that I get in PvP maps. Now, obviously, frame rates in Destiny will depend, particularly in PvP, on how many people we're actually playing against. So, if you're doing six v six, frame rates could drop based on a whole scale of things um, on the map, obviously. Um, and then, just if you're playing six v six by Iron Banner, that's going to drop your frame rates considerably compared to like if you're playing three v three. That's just a, a thing of Destiny. Just the fact that you're having to render other players around you and whatever they're doing in the game Clash. so um, we will load in here and i'll show you like you. so i'm getting what two uh, over 200 220 pretty sticky 220 here 240 pretty high frame rates just in jav uh jav 4 so we will get these sort of frame rates in a 3v3 map but if i play on 6v6 it's gonna it's gonna tank so um yeah okay so there we go that is the best way to get the ultimate frame rates in Destiny 2, in my opinion. If I miss anything, drop some comments in the section below. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one.